Hello guys, so Kedar here again and I have here with me Mr. Khan from EESL. Uh, thank you Mr. Khan for being here with us and uh, agreeing to uh, talk to us. Um, uh, so I'm from Plugin India and to give you a brief introduction of Plugin India, it started a few year, uh, years back, almost five years, uh, more than five years now as a community activity and then you know um, we did a lot of activities as a community, uh, rallies and some uh, uh, put some charging points. There is an app, Recharge India app and then uh, you know some of uh, uh, some people uh, came together and we uh, uh, made uh, went in the direction of a business and um, as a business we are doing a lot of consultancy uh, we don't call ourselves like profit motivated but we have to uh, you know uh, we want to sustain these activities so we are doing consultancies we are helping other companies do business development and we are doing uh, events to raise awareness uh, about electric vehicles we also go in colleges and universities and give lectures and talks and you know some colleges have recently contacted us about helping them to uh, build EV in their curriculum, things like that. So a lot of exciting things. So as I was talking to you off camera, looks like you're also doing a lot of exciting things about uh, you know energy sustainability. And so please tell us a little more about your activities. Uh, thank you, Kedar. Uh First of all, I would like to introduce myself that my name is Ahit Sham Khan and I manage a technical and looking for this electric mobility project from Energy Efficiency Services Limited. So uh, Energy Efficiency Services Limited is a joint venture of four PSUs that is NDPC Power Grid, REC and PFC and it comes directly under the Ministry of Power. So there are a lot of projects which we are driving like the LED, Ojala, Street Light, agriculture, solar, uh, then me, beep for the municipality energy efficiency, then for the building energy efficiency, and then the smart meters and this electric mobility. Uh -huh. So uh, I am generally looking for this electric mobility. And what we are trying to do is to create the sustainable market and to create the uh, climate change. Uh -huh. So for that thing, uh, generally we have procured uh, more than 10,000 electric vehicles, which have reduced down the cost from uh, up to 25% in the uh -huh. capital investment of the vehicle. And Similarly, we have procured more than 2,000 chargers in which we have got the reduction by 30% of the pricing. So generally, we are just uh, dealing with the government's ministries and the public sector undertakings to deploy the, these vehicles and to transform the ICE engine vehicles to this electric mobility. So for that thing, uh, generally, we have installed more than 100 AC charger and a 25 DC charger in Delhi and Sierra region, as well as in the tw around 20 chargers, AC chargers across the in the Vishakapatnam. So generally, we are trying to create more and more ecosystem for this charging infrastructure uh, across this public sector, uh, uh, public sector undertaking of the municip uh, municipalities or the ministries. So right now, the main focus is to create the demand for the manufacturer so that they can get assured that the production, whatever they are producing or manufacturing vehicles, can get be utilized by. <laughs> any of us and the second is to create the awareness across the public means uh, everyone is just asking what what about the charging infrastructure what about the vehicle how much range it used to give what will happen when we will drive it for the intercity so for that tackling all that kind of the issues we are working on the ecosystem as well as for the reducing the pricing of the charge uh, charges as well as for the cars uh, so uh, we have signed a lot of agreements and the MOUs with the state government agencies, municipalities and the ministries. Nice. So for namely I would like to say that there are some of the minis uh, ministries are the Ministry of Power, Ministry of New Renewable Energy, Ministry of Finance, then we are also in discussion with the Ministry of Environment and Forest wow. and we have even signed an agreement for the Niti IO, BWE, uh, NDMC, SDMC for the municipalities of Delhi, okay. then the NTPC power grid. So there are a lot of many uh, agencies. Uh -huh. And across the states, if you will see, we have an sign of MOU for the 10,000 electric vehicles with an AP government, uh -huh. and 1,000 electric vehicle for the Maharashtra government, then for the uh, Telangana, then Dehradun, and uh, so many. So we all almost we are also in discussion with the rest of the states. Uh -huh. okay. So just we are trying to create such kind of the ecosystem so that it can become the sustainable and affordable to the normal users and the public. I see. Okay. Wow, that sounds, that sounds fantastic. And what you just mentioned that you have act already created uh, what 125 AC chargers and 25 DC chargers. Uh, so uh, th that, that's a great news. And, and you know, what I want to know is uh, A, uh, who owns and operates those chargers? B, are those chargers free for anyone to use? 
So, uh, here, here. first of all, we are only working with the government. Miss ESL is working especially with the government just to get uh, ensure that our recovery can be done, because we cannot insist any of the private player or any of the individual users or the person to buy those vehicles. So we are not into this uh, public EV charging infrastructure right now we are uh, as well as earlier there was a regulation by the government that one cannot install the charger or they cannot resell the electricity so for that thing we have worked on the captive uh, consumption and we have installed those charges across the premises of the government offices and they are the user and they can charge their own vehicle and the uh, consumption can be utilized by them only and the charge for this electricity can be paid by them so we have just installed the charger so we are the owner of the charger and we are providing the services for the charging to their own vehicle which they are using for this lease or the rental i see okay great great that sounds great that sounds thank great. you and um, you know how how does uh, electric vehicle uh, fit into the larger amount of work you are doing as energy sustainability i mean what are your other activities you are doing and you know and, and then then how does electric vehicle related activities came into picture in those activities uh, generally uh, as i already mentioned that esl mainly focuses on the energy efficiency and the energy sustainability or the climate change for this kind of the project only so earlier we have already committed with the leds so we have done the largest distribution across the world uh, almost uh, it's about uh, 30 crore led bulb distribution across the country so that was the world's largest di distribution of the led bulb then uh, secondly we have done a street light program for which we are the world's largest uh, de uh, agency to convert or to maintain that LED street light across the country. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, dealing with more than 50 lakh street lights across the country. And similarly, there were some more programs, as I mentioned, like the agri AGDCM, agricultural solar pumps, uh, then the solar rooftop solars. So generally, uh, wherever we can just create energy uh, efficiency, or where we can sustain this energy, or where we can reduce the carbon footprints, so our mainly focus areas are those things so, but in the EVs uh, we are not dealing with the energy efficiency but there is a the major impact on the pollution so that we are working on the climate change. Right. So m most of the times generally the major uh, pollution or in the air pollution is done by the normal uh, ice engine vehicles right. by uh, burning of those petrol and diesel. Yes. So that was a major concern to look into and to take this action so we have initiated that electric mobility is the best solution to tackle that kind of challenge to reduce the carbon footprint and to manage the climate mm, okay. in this way we have just entered into this uh, electric mobility so that we can make our contribution into the climate change as well as we can create such kind of the ecosystem so we are lucky that we are the first one in india to promote uh, and to work on the larger scale of this electric mobility great, yeah. great. It's, it's great to know about your activities and it's great to meet you at this uh, event here. <laughs> Even what, my what pleasure. What about uh, this event? Uh, means, uh, these events are much necessary. Means, uh, everyone when uh, just used to listen, uh, so they get some kind of the uh, directions as well as the connections with various stakeholders. Right. So that uh, most of the time the manufacturers, the policy makers or the distributors or some kind of the different investors, they get the chance to interact with all that kind of the peoples and they can play an important role to bring more and more system into or to create ecosystem or for the charging infrastructure or for the two-wheeler, three-wheeler buses or any of that kind of the things. So it's important to have such kind of uh, events so that more and more player can come forward and can have an interaction and can give a right part to that mission. Right, I, I agree. I, it's, it's been great for me to hear like a you know wide variety of views in this event and I'm, I'm pretty sure even our Plug in India viewers and the readers are going to enjoy these talks and our information <laughs> coming in. So thank you so much. Thank it was you, great to talk to you. It's meeting. Thank you.